all my old school soul food family chef jumping back with another video all right y'all you know it's pretty much the end of the summer we headed into the fall and what i'm trying to do y'all i'm gonna try to do more i've got a request from this the newborn casserole this is easy casseroles and i believe me i have a lot of casseroles in my repertoire fancy i'm, I'm being fancy today repertoire y'all I'm just saying, what is repertoire? I hear that lady in the back. Honey, he telling the fancy words again. What is repertoire? In my arsenal. I got a lot in my arsenal, up my sleeve. However you want to put it. I got a lot in my head here, casserole. So, I'm going to show y'all one here. I had to come up with this one. I rather got out of college and pretty much was on my own. I'm still on my own. <laughs> I was living in my apartment, y'all know the story there, a little one bedroom apartment. Paycheck to paycheck, y'all. And I come up with this. Very easy, I had an electric oven, no gas stove, so I like to cook in the oven as much as possible because electric stove I just don't like. I mean, respect for y'all to have electric stove, but once you cook on gas, it's just, it's nothing like it. So I kind of come up with this. I call it my uh, meatball and pasta casserole. Very simple, y'all. Very easy. Let's get started. Enough talking, huh? All I got here, I got some bow tie pasta. You can do whatever pasta you have. But this, I like. It eats better for me with this type of pasta. You can just pick it up with the fork and it eats better than a macaroni, something like that. It takes a spoon. I love eating with a fork. Some people don't. Kenna, K-K-A, Bucks, K Kenna. But I love my eating with a fork. Um, frozen meatballs. I got some... Fresh grated mozzarella here. Try to use the fresh grated as possible. If not, look, it don't matter. I've used the one out of the package before. Like I told y'all, fresh grated is better because it doesn't have that waxy protective skin on it when it melts. But hey, if you don't have the ported or you don't have a grater, by all means, use the, use the package. Okay, I got some marinara here. Y'all know I love my rails. There's some parmesan cheese here. So let's get started here, y'all. Like I said, y'all, this is very very simple. I'm gonna pour the marinara sauce in here. I'm pretty much gonna be, uh, use about three cups of water, y'all, in here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour my water in here. It's something my mama taught me. David, we're not gonna waste that, that stuff out of that jar. So we're gonna fill this up. Hold on, y'all. Fill this jar up with water. What I do, slosh this around here, and my mama will keep this jar, y'all. You know she would. I'm just throw that in there. And what the reason I do that, y'all, it's gonna give it loud for the pasta to cook. Cause I'm gonna put this in the oven. Just kind of stir it around. Look at this. How easy is this, y'all? How easy is this? Let me move this cheese out the way, cause the cheese we ain't gonna leave till about 35 minutes from now. All right, put that in there. We're gonna pour our pasta in here. Oh yeah. I know somebody already in the back say, Chef David, Chef Griffin has gone crazy again, y'all. Chef Griffin has lost his mind, y'all. No, as easy as it gets, y'all. Trying to make it easy on them. Like I told y'all, in the fall, school's let back. Out in, parents, kids, want to try to make something kind of easy and quick for dinner, for supper. Depending on what dialect you're from. Some people say dinner, some people say supper. I don't care what you call it, just don't call me late for it, right? So, yeah. So try to make something simple and easy. Now, meatballs. Do not make your meatballs, y'all. Go and get you some frozen meatballs. I like to use the ones from uh, from my one of my favorite stores, which is uh, uh, Trader Joe's. I love you some Trader Joe's uh, uh, meatballs. I'm gonna use a couple of these in there. They already seasoned, already good to go. Okay, you kind of mix these around in there and get these meatballs a little 
I'm gonna get these meatballs a little coating on it, y'all, and then I'm gonna kind of put them in there fancy. But I wanna kind of coat them around. Of course, you can put this in a bowl and do all this, y'all. I'm just doing it right in my casserole dish. And you can do the mixing everything in here. So you ain't messing up no dishes. You just messing up one casserole dish. You ain't messing up no extra bowls or nothing like that. So, so mix that around. What I need is I'm gonna try to coat the meatballs as much as possible. And then I'm gonna fancy it up, put the meatballs on top of the pasta. Cause the pasta gonna take longer than the meatballs. So what I'm gonna do, I mean, you don't have to be perfect. Cause you wanna kinda see the meatballs after the pasta's cooked. So I like kind of set it up just like this, y'all. Just like this. Make sure that pasta's down in there as much as possible in the liquid. And we're gonna bake this covered for like 350 degrees, about 30 to 35 minutes, y'all. Till that pasta's cooked. And while I say try to put the pasta down as much as possible in the in the meatballs in the uh, pan here. We're gonna put some looning foil on it. 30, 35 minutes in the oven, 350 degrees, y'all. We're gonna come back and that nice, pretty mozzarella cheese we got and that Parmesan cheese, we're gonna put it on top and we're gonna put it back in the oven another 15 minutes. We got an easy dish here, y'all. All you need is some old school garlic bread. I'm gonna show y'all old school garlic bread when I come back. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Just took the pasta out of the oven. We're gonna take the lid off. And look how pretty this is, y'all. But I'm not through yet. So what I'm gonna do, kinda stir it around. Look at that, the pasta's completely cooked. 35 minutes in the oven. I'm gonna stir it around. Get all that juice in there on the meatballs. Oh yeah, how pretty is that? Y'all notice that I did not purposely season this because number one the marinara has uh salt and pepper in it the uh the meatballs of course they are already seasoned but if you want to use uh something or you want to put some italian seasoning or something on it you sure can okay like i told y'all i'm not through with this yeah we're gonna go through here we're gonna put the parmesan first parmesan cheese on here liberally too y'all you really want it to be cheesy and of course y'all know parmesan cheese that's the one here that i'm using right here has salt on it hold on y'all i know i got my i got my fresh grated in here too hold on and like i told y'all use whatever cheese you have give me one second here y'all Whatever cheese you have. I like to use one out of the can and the fresh gravy. Okay, now we're gonna top it with mug, how they say it in uh in Italy, mozzarella. We're gonna top it with some mozzarella here, y'all. We're gonna bake this about 15 minutes. Until it's completely just gooey, bubbly, and cheesy. So you get all that covered. Look at that. Here we go. How easy is this, y'all? You don't have to boil the pasta on top of the stove. You don't have to do none of that. You do it all in one dish. So we're going to put it in the oven, 350 degrees, about 15 minutes till the cheese is all melty and bubbly. We'll come back. We're gonna try this old school meatball pasta casserole. Be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Hey, I wanna share, I told y'all, I'm gonna show y'all some old school garlic bread. I'm gonna show y'all something. When we grew up, we had spaghetti, and we wanted garlic bread. I'm gonna show you what my mama made here. What I got here, I got some butter in here, y'all, some granulated garlic. If you don't have granulated garlic, use a, uh, I'm gonna put this in the microwave one minute. Use garlic powder. My mama didn't use no fresh garlic. 
We use garlic powder, garlic, granulated garlic, and white bread, and we toast it in the skillet. I'm gonna show you just how she did it, y'all. So, and we wasn't fancy, fancy. People say, oh, I want some garlic bread. I'm gonna show you our garlic bread growing up. We didn't have a fancy loaf bread and your Italian loaf bread where you where you put your uh I got a couple pieces of bread. We call this light bread in the country, y'all. Light bread. Some people call it sliced white bread, but we call it light bread growing up. So okay. Get this thing all melted here. Okay. We got, we got the butter in here, and we didn't use butter. We use country crop or parquet. That parquet, we didn't use a lot of butter growing up. The only butter we used when we had homemade butter. We would take the cream off the milk, put it in a glass uh, jug, and shake it until that cream turned to butter. That's the only butter we had when we had real butter. Y'all know about that. Okay, we turn the skillet on over here. And what do you do? You take that, brush that on there, brush it on the other side. This is you had my skillet on already, huh? Brush this on here, y'all. This is this is garlic toast. This is garlic bread, garlic toast, however you want to say it. Growing up, this is what we had right here. We didn't have no fancy, fancy, fancy special bread here. So once it heat up here, let me turn it on the other side. You get all this on there, y'all. Get all that garlic and corn. Like I say, if you don't have granulated garlic, use garlic uh, butter or warhead. Whatever you have on hand, y'all. Whatever you have on hand. So we'll move y'all over here to the skillet. To the skillet here. And we're going to make some old school garlic. So give me one second, y'all. I'm not going to even cut y'all off. Let this chili don't take long for this skillet to heat up. Take long and all for it to heat up here. Yeah, just lay the toast right in there. Let me get my little salsa here. Put it on. The only thing I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna just toast it on both sides. And this, I'm telling you, this is some of the best garlic bread right here. Like I say, you, we use growing up, you use what you have on hand. Like I reiterated in my video, you see me use something, you don't have it. Especially, unless it's baking, my stuff you can't substitute. But regular cooking, if it's something you don't have on hand, use what you have. That's what it is about old school cooking. You use what you have on hand. It's nothing fancy, fancy, nothing like that. That's how it is. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off. When we come back, get this toasted off, and then the cheese will be all nice and bubbly, and we'll be ready to eat. Old school uh, Italian. This is an old school Italian dinner, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here, and you can see how bubbly this is, y'all. Nice and bubbly. Um, also, I got my toast is ready here. The garlic toast right there. I just turned it off in the skillet. We're going to eat some of that with it. And like I say, it's all bubbly in here, and uh, that's what you want. Very simple, y'all, I'm telling you. This is so easy, so simple to make. So what it is, I'm going to let it cool just slightly, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to scoop me some out, give me a slice of this uh, old school garlic bread, garlic toast, garlic night bread, whatever you want to call it. And we about to throw down in here and eat, y'all. Oh, nothing better than pasta with meatballs and cheese and sauce. Nice and healthy, right? Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Look at this here, y'all. Look at that. Nice, cheesy meatballs right there. Got my garlic toast. Garlic bread, however you want to call it, right here. Let's see if I can get a good bite of this, y'all. The meatball is so tender. Give me a meatball. A little pasta there with that cheese and stuff is hot. Don't burn the roof of my mouth. I know y'all don't care. Y'all like when Chef Jeffrey burn the roof of his mouth. Look at that. Look at that bite there, y'all. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Nothing. 
It goes a lot here. All right. Mm. 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 I'm still eating that, y'all. Mm. Good eating that. What they call it, bread? Mm. All you need, I'm telling you, you got a family of four easily. Feed four people, five or six, depending on the age of the kids or the people eating it. Simple. Like I told y'all, if we go into the month of September, I'm trying to do a lot more casserole. I got a meat meat loaf and a mashed potato casserole. I'm telling y'all, it's so awesome. One dish meal. And it's gonna come up later on in September. But yeah, y'all, I just want to share this with y'all. Nice, simple, easy recipe. That you can uh let me get another bite before I sign off. Before I sign off, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Meatball, the pasta's perfectly cooked. You see how pasta's perfectly cooked? And <clears throat> you have to boil no pasta. Like I said, if you want to throw you some Italian seasoning on there, this needs no seasoning. Because the man there already seasoned. Meatball, of course, perfectly seasoned because it's already cooked. The cheese has salt in it. It's a, I'm telling you, good meal. Come home. Kids come home. Come home from work. Throw this in the oven, y'all. You know I've got all this on hand. you got pasta on hand. Who has to have a jar of marinara sauce and some cheese? You want, if you don't have mozzarella, use cheddar cheese. Use jack cheese. Whatever you have, use and that's it. Throw it together. I already told you, showed you the old school garlic bread. Who doesn't have sliced bread and garlic powder and butter in the house? Or parquet or country cock. But anyway, y'all, let me close the video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Helping others with a purple. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.